the undoing of the social media giant. During a recent rebranding tour, sporting Gen Z approved Tuslad hair, streetwear, and a gold chain. The meta chip Mark Zuckerberg let the truth slip. Consumers no longer control their social media feed. Meta's algorithm, he boasted, has improved to the point that it is showing users a lot of stuff not posted by people they had connected with and they see the future in which feed show you content that's generated by an AI system. Spare me. There's nothing I want less than a bunch of memes of Jesus as a shrimp, pie-eating cartoon cats and other AI slop added to all the uh, clickbait already clogging, clogging my feed. But there is a silver lining. Our legal system is starting to recognize the shift and hold the tech giants responsible for the apex of their algorithm, a significant and even possibly transformative development that over the next few years could finally force social media platforms to be answerable for the societal consequences of their choices. Let's back up and start with the problem. Section 230, a snippet of law embedded in the 1996 Communications Decency Act was initially intended to protect tech companies from defamation claims related to post uh, made by users. That protection made sense in the early days of social media when we largely chose the content we saw based on whom we uh, friended on sites such as Facebook. Since we selected those relationships, it was relatively easy for the companies to argue they should not be blamed if your uncle Bob insulted your strawberry pie on Instagram. Then, of course, things got a little darker. Not everything Uncle Bob shared was accurate, and the platform's algorithms prioritized outrageous, provocative content from anyone with the internet access over more neutral, fact-based reporting. Despite this, the tech company's lawyers continued to argue successfully that they were not responsible for the content shared on their platform, no matter how misleading or dangerous. Section 230 now has been used to shield tech from consequences for facilitating deadly drug sales, sexual harassment, illegal arms sales, and human trafficking.